So in the series of learning programming in C, in the previous video I have discussed constants in C. What are different type of constants and how to declare constants, everything we have discussed, some valid constants, some invalid constants, right. In this video I am going to talk about variables in C language, right. These things we will be using when we will write a program, variables, constants, data types, functions, everything, right. Now in this video we will discuss what are variables, what is need of variables, how to declare a variable and how the rules to construct a variable name. We will also see some valid variables, some invalid variable names, everything we are going to discuss about variables. So now let us discuss what are variables and see what is need of these variables. See when you write a program like to print hello world, you don't need any variable like just you need what printf hello world, that's it. But if you want to do some task like if you want to do some processing, some computational task, if you want to do some computation, uh, like suppose if you want to calculate, uh, you, you want to find out maximum number among three numbers, like numbers are 10, 20 and 30, you have, you will find out maximum among three numbers. So what you will do? If you will not write a program, suppose you can all easily tell 30 is what uh, maximum, but for this what you will do, you have to store the, these numbers into your memory, right, into your brain or maybe you can write down these numbers on a piece of paper, right. Suppose I have rubbed these numbers, but now these numbers are in your memory 10, 20 and 30, you remember. So you can easily tell 30 is uh, highest maximum number or you can, I have written in, uh, these numbers on blackboard, right. So now you can, I can tell 30 is maximum number. But if you want to do, suppose this processing using computer, so you have to uh, give some instruction to computer and how you will do instructions, you will write program, right. In programming language, you need some programming language, you will write program and you will submit that program to computer and then you will get output like maximum number is 30. So now computer is not, not having uh, its own brain, its own uh, like uh, memory. Yeah, it's having its memory, but it's not having its own brain like we human have. So there you need to store these numbers in computer memory. Obviously computer need to store these numbers in his or its memory. So now to store these numbers or to store some values, what you need, you need a variable name like C. Suppose this is memory, like uh, computer is having a chunk of memory and if I want to store 10, suppose I have stored 10 here, 20 here, 30 here any random locations in computer memory, these numbers will be stored in any random locations, right. These are having some addresses, suppose addresses, suppose address is 1000, this address is suppose 1024, this is 3000, any address, right. Now if you want to access these values, how you will access? Because you are having, we don't know where these numbers have been stored, either you have to check for these addresses, but generally we cannot open that memory, we cannot generally touch the memory locations in computer, right, it is not possible. So what we can do, we can uh, give a name to all these three memory locations, like suppose I am giving name A to this, B to this and C to this. Now if you want to access these numbers, you can easily access by calling the name only, like A fine. B, when you call B then 30 would be displayed and when we print C, call means when we print C then 20 would be displayed. We can easily fetch by these names. So these A, B, C, these are what? Variable names, these are variables. So variable is what? It's you can say a named memory location. It's nothing but a named memory location. This is a memory location and it is having a name A. This is variable A, so it is a named memory location or you can say a variable is what? It's a name or it's a data name that is used to store what? Value of data, here I am storing value 10, right? And the name is A, this is variable, fine. Now let us discuss uh, how to declare variables and see so you can also say variable is what? It's a name which is given to a memory location where we store a value or any constant, this is what constant, right. So I am naming this memory location that is A and I am storing here the value of a constant, fine. So name of a variable generally uh, we declare anything like A, B, C or anything but 
Suppose I want to uh, print a sum of uh, two numbers a plus b. So, rather than writing c here, yeah you can use c here and you can print c then sum would be printed like a is 1 suppose and b is 2 or here I can say a is 10 and b is 30. Then in c we will have 40. But rather than writing c, programmers you uh, do what? They write down a meaningful name like if I write down here sum that would be more meaningful just by uh, seeing the name the name of the, this variable you can easily find out you can easily figure out that this is what this variable is uh, containing sum of numbers maybe two numbers or three numbers here it is containing sum of two numbers so better to use a meaningful variable name and as the name suggests variable means the variable the value of that variable may be changed during the execution of a program I mean it's throughout the program in the previous video I have discussed also like if suppose I am taking a is equal to 10 here. So in this program anywhere I can change a is equal to 50 and that value would be updated to 50 now. If after I am uh, uh, writing a is equal to 60 after that a value becomes 60. This value has gone this value has gone now updated value is 60. So you can change that variable value but if you define like here const now you cannot change the value it is like a constant variable fine that I have discussed in previous video now let us discuss how to declare a variable we will also see declaration and initialization see for declaration we need what two things first is data type second one is name of that variable so here I can write suppose data type is in data type you can write int float uh, character that data types also will discuss in, um, in the next video and variable name suppose I am writing a and then semicolon this is what declaration of a variable so it is telling the name of that memory location is what he if you write this thing and when compiler will compile this thing when compiler the control will come to this point during execution of a program then what will happen it means there is a memory location and the name of that location is a suppose address is suppose address is 100 I don't know what the address is but suppose address is 100 so the meaning is this thing we have defined a space for a you can say a memory location we have given a name to that memory location this is a right and how many bytes you can say would be uh, located to this a according to this data type integer is having uh, it depends upon the compiler somewhere it's 2 bytes and somewhere it's 4 bytes so it depends right now if you want to store some value here what you will do you can do a is equal to 10 and semicolon now 10 would be assigned to this location now 10 would be stored at this location right this is declaration of a variable this is initialization of variable and you can also do declaration plus initialization in a single statement like you can also write int a is equal to 10 rather than these two lines you can also write in a single line. But if suppose I write here a is equal to 10 and then I am declaring this a int a. So now you have to tell me is it correct or not. If you write this in your program this will give you out, uh, error or it will uh, be a correct value if after that you will print print f percentage d and a and here you can write void main and header files you can include after that you can write here get ch in this main function only and then close then you will tell me what it will print value of a or it will give some error but this and this are correct so here what the declaration what the variables uh, tell the declaration of a variable tell first the name of the variable second thing is the type of the data the variable is going to hold here it is going to store integer data if I write here float a means name of variable is a and a is going to store float value suppose I am writing a is equal to 3.14 right if I write here char a it is going to store character value the data is character uh, value character constant so here you can write down write down like this a is equal to here you can initialize the character constant here you can write down a see this a and this a are not same 
this is name of variable this is what character constant it will map it with the integer the sky value of this a and what is this value of this is 97 so in a what value would be stored 97 at that, that at this time and when you will print the value with percentage d if you print percentage d and a then what would be printed 97 right and you can also write down like this int a is equal to 1 comma b is equal to 2 you can also initialize more than one variable in single statement that is also correct fine but keep this thing in mind then type of a variable cannot be void like we cannot write void a the variable is name is a and the type is here void but this is incorrect this is not possible right now this is what declaration of a variable some rules now while constructing the name of a variable what you need to take care what are some rules see suppose here i write uh, like a b c is it valid if i write dollar a b c is it valid if i write 1 2 3 is it valid let us check these rules so a variable name may consist letters digits and underscore a special symbol so if i write like uh, here a b c yeah this is valid if i write here average this is valid if i write sum this is valid if i write sum 1 2 this is also valid you can also write down numbers and letters and if i write down like sum underscore 12 this is also uh, fine valid underscore is allowed but if you write sum space 12 this is invalid if you write sum space sum dollar 12 this is invalid you cannot use any special uh, symbol here and second is variable name also would be started from a letter if i write like one two sum this is invalid you cannot start it with a number yeah uh, uh, somewhere in uh, some compiler it is valid that you can start it with underscore underscore sum this is valid right because some system permits underscore in the beginning right and you cannot write like uh, uh, sum comma 12 this is invalid comma is not allowed space is not allowed any uh, special symbol is not allowed underscore is allowed only next is keyword cannot be used as a variable name now keywords are some reserved words in c c is having uh, what 32 keywords right these are some reserved words and having some uh, predefined meaning so you cannot use those keywords as a variable name like you cannot use uh, variable name include you cannot use variable name break this is a keyword if is a keyword for is a keyword switch is a keyword these are keywords that we'll discuss in next video what are the keywords list of keywords right so next keywords cannot be used as a variable name next is what uppercase and lowercase letters are different like if uh, i write here suppose um, num and if i write num and if i write num these three are different variables name this is all capital this is uh, small letters and this is n capital and these are small so this is different different variable names uppercase and lowercase letters are uh, considered as different when you are constructing variable name because c is what case sensitive language i am discussing it in the context of c language right so these are some variable names you tell me these are uh, valid or not you can pause the video and find out see this one is what valid this is valid this is what this you need to tell me int underscore type is valid or not in the comment box right this is valid this is valid this is valid this is valid and this invalid because here we are uh, using a special uh, character float this is invalid because this is a float is also a keyword in c this is what invalid because you cannot start a variable name with any number this invalid this is a special character and this you need to tell me it is valid or not so i think that's it about variables in the next video i'll discuss data types in c language or uh, maybe i'll be discussing before data types identifiers and keywords in c language so now i'll see in the next video till then bye bye take care